feminists and concerned individuals therefore deplore the targeting of prostitutes without reference to the equal responsibility of their clients. How can prostitutes get AIDS when they are confined in one particular place unless the clients give them that infection? So we start with the premise that it is the clients who bring the disease to the prostitutes. And it is the clients again who go back to their homes and infect their wives. So we cannot just say that it's the prostitutes alone who are responsible for spreading the disease. The gender inequalities inherent in our society discourage the woman, whether she is a wife or a prostitute, from asking the man to wear a condom, which is the only way to avoid infection. Our social structures are such that we inhibit a woman to take the initiative and uh, she may not even realize that she has to negotiate the use of condom. Also, it is a transgression of violating the trust of a marriage between two people. Sex workers work in a terrible atmosphere. They are people who are the most powerless in the entire structure. There are madams, there are primps, there are brothel owners, there are everybody else there. Now, a pimp goes and gets a client and it's if the client is shooed away by the sex worker, she is beaten up. They would say, I spent two hours getting this man and now you just shoot him up because you didn't want him to, he didn't want to use a condom. Dr. I.S. Gilada runs a free condom distribution program in the red light district of Mumbai. How much have such programs helped? We need a sustained approach and that we have demonstrated in the city of Mumbai where HIV infection, which was going up heavily from 1985-86 onward till almost 1992-93, for last two years, three years, it is stable. It is not going up with the numbers uh, you know, with which it was going up earlier. It is impossible to gauge how many people are actually infected with HIV. And this problem is magnified in the case of sex workers. When you test them and you find out that one tested person is isolated, rejected, deserted and thrown out, then other women naturally will keep quiet. So there may be more women who are conscious now, who have gone secretly, taken a test, and who know that they are infected, but do not come out with it, because they know nobody will want them. The sex workers at Dhantri, only willing to speak to us off camera, deny the existence of AIDS cases in their area. However, an NGO working in the area found several cases existing. In one locality, it was about six kilometers from here. We tested them with two samples, six ladies and one client, men. And we were surprised when we received the report that all these seven people, the six ladies and the client, the men, were having had uh, AIDS. When we went to the next, the second community, we were so surprised that they had some serious skin disease inside. And doctors told, we cannot even believe how they are surviving themselves. These women flatly insist that they never have sex without protection. If so, they are a very small percentage because the statistics cannot be denied. An interview with 100 truckers revealed that 63% of them had never used a condom and many did not know where to get one. On the Jaipur Mumbai highway itself, 30% of the truck drivers tested were found to be HIV positive. When we tested them, this one man, who was a truck driver, he was coming to this man 
time to time. When he was passing from Jaipur to Ajmer, or coming from Ajmer to Jaipur, he always going there. And I was told by that man that uh, he had, the, before also, he had the poetry, uh, poetry. So they are infected from these people. This. What are the means to stop the deadly spread of HIV? A cure for the disease is nowhere in sight. Research is ongoing and methods to prolong the lives of those infected emerge every day. For the last two years there have been uh, rapid uh, progress in the area of drug development. But we, there are new drugs which have become available which are effective in uh, prolonging life or, reduce, or prolonging the period between people who are good, infected and developing AIDS. But we cannot consider them as cure. I think we are a long way off. We have strategies now in which we use certain drugs like AZT and many other drugs. And if the mother is taking that for a period of time, then the transmission to the child is greatly lessened. So these new strategies are coming up. In the West, a cocktail of expensive drugs keeps the effect of the virus at bay. But this option is virtually non-existent for the developing nations, still coming to terms with the basic necessities for all. Governments are doing something to a, import the drugs and import the drugs without uh, duty and things like that. And I think a lot of advocacy work needs to be done with the pharmaceutical companies so that they reduce the price for third world countries, otherwise we have no hope.